Okay, good morning. That's the situation. For better understanding, I'll show you the map. So I'm right now in uh, Goris, a small city in the south of Armenia, and I want to go to Tabriz, a city in Iran, close to the Armenian border. It seems that there are two options on how to get from Armenia to Iran. There's an easy option and a not so easy option. The easy option would be to get on a bus in Yerevan and just take the bus all the way to Tabriz. I'm not in Yerevan right now, I'm in Goris. So then it's option number two. Somehow make your way to the border, then cross the border and then somehow make your way to Tabriz. So that's my plan. First I have to get to Kapan, to Kayaran. From there go to Migri, which is at the border. And from Migri I have to go to Agarak, from where I can cross the border to Iran. Okay, so how do I get there? I will try to hitchhike from Goris all the way down to Agarak. <laughs> so it's about 140 kilometers. Important thing, before you cross the border, change into some pants. Okay, so then I cross the border, hopefully everything will be fine, and then I'm in Iran. <laughs> I'm really excited. Oh, actually, before I leave, I should get a dictionary. I should get it now. So after crossing the border, the first thing I'm gonna do is exchange some money and then buy a SIM card. You cannot use your credit card or your whatever card in Iran. If you wanna spend money in Iran, you have to bring it, exchange it, and then you can spend it. And then I'm in Iran, and then I have to go to Tabriz. I have no idea how to cover this distance because it's another 100 and I don't know, 40, 150 kilometers. So yeah. But hopefully I'll make it in one day. I think I told her it's, a, it's about 300 kilometers. I'm not exactly sure, also depends on how I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave in half an hour and hope I make it. Okay, let's go. I have to admit I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, let's go. Bye bye. <laughs> well, the best thing, it's a sunny day. <laughs> Photo? Did we take together? <laughs> what, what's your name? My, my name is Larson. My name is Hyde. Nice. <laughs> That's sweet. So I think I've made it to the end of the town. So I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> Oh, I really, really hope I can make it to uh, Tabris today. Mukhaas, Mukhaas. No luck. Oh, yesterday was so easy. It's too easy. Hey, many people they throw like their garbage or like the juice box into this kind of like stream thing it goes through the whole city and then it finally just lands here <laughs> bye bye Goris and welcome nothing hello uh, Kapan oh hello first stop the guy took me all the way into the city and then he showed me how to get to my next destination it was about um, I think 70 kilometers and the landscape was literally stunning it's 12 30 now it's getting hot this town is bigger than expected my bag is getting heavy
from here, from Kapan to Kacharan, is only 27 kilometers. So it's a very short distance. And from there to Migri, this should be possible. Right now, everything is possible. Awesome, actually. Like, really awesome. I think this is it. Okay, no car. <laughs> <laughs> Just drank some water. I'm drenched in sweat. Ah man. Okay, I think I will keep walking. There was a second ride today and they took me almost to uh, Kajaran but it's another four kilometers to get there so yeah I'm just gonna start walking I, I, I didn't film that much from inside the car like sometimes we feel that you should not film so many walnut trees here it's like back home actually <laughs> I think it should be okay to find a car here Let's see, there's a truck. Should I try? Two cars, two cars now. Another one. For me. <laughs> okay, if this one's not stopping, then it's not stopping. I <laughs> will walk again. Oh man, can't be that far. He said four kilometers. Okay, it's actually. I mean, no cars. Oh man, and it's hot. <laughs> oh, it's another car. Oh, oh honey, like a maniac. There it is. <laughs> Hello. So I'm driving with this dude. He's um, transporting watermelons from Kapan to Megui. Oh. So I get all the way to Megui, which is so awesome. <laughs> super close to the border. I already saw it, but then we went to another village to um, sell a few more watermelons. <laughs> Can't wait to get to Aran. <laughs> Crossing the border between Armenia and Iran was relatively easy. After leaving Armenia, you have to walk through a one kilometer stretch of no man's land. Once you reach the Iranian side, there'll be the first small interrogation. 
It's basically about where you're from, what's your job, why are you visiting Iran, and what places you want to visit. After that, you'll be greeted with a welcome to Iran, and you can continue to the immigration office. There will be the second interrogation. Similar questions extended by a few about your father, his name and job. They didn't ask me about any insurance papers, I didn't have any, but I heard you should prepare some, just in case. After the second interrogation, if everything goes well, your visa and passport will be checked, and you get the stamp and you can enter Iran. I am in Iran. And I don't know where to go. I'm in Iran. Oh man. Armenia. Iran. Check out the scenery. This is the first time. Iran? Around Iran, yeah. Um, I almost have three weeks. Okay, nice. But a little. What about you? Same. <laughs> okay, so I was with these two other guys. They hitch a ride now. Only space for two. So now I'm on my own. Trying to hitch a ride. Should be okay. 